can help you land a good job, but a degree oftentimes comes with thousands of dollars in student debt. More in this Six on Your Side Consumer Report. Jessie Surin graduated in 2010. Six years later, she has a degree in criminal justice that she isn't really using and $90,000 in student debt. I knew that college was expensive and, you know, I just thought everybody took out student loans and that's just how you did it. More than 70% of college graduates leave school with debt. Financial experts at Consumer Reports have a warning. Just don't do it. Don't take out a hefty loan as a student and parents shouldn't take out hefty loans either. People living with student debt say it affects their every move. In the Consumer Reports nationally representative survey of student loan borrowers, 44% say they have had to cut back on daily living expenses. About one quarter have had to delay major financial goals like buying a house, and 12% have put off getting married. To avoid scrambling to figure out how to pay for it all after graduation, have a plan to pay for college before you even apply. First, do some soul searching. Ask yourself what you want to get out of college. College is an expensive place to figure out what you want to do with your life. The more years you spend, the more debt you may have to take on. If you're not sure, consider options like take a gap year. Next, look at the cost and think about how much financial aid you can anticipate. A good rule of thumb is not to borrow more than you expect to earn in the first year after you graduate. Advice Jesse Surin urges others to consider carefully. With your consumer news, I'm Mallory Maddox. Another way to avoid debt is to start off at a community college and then transfer to a four-year institution after a year or two.